there guys and in this tutorial I'll show you how to create and reconfigure toolbars. Right, let's get straight to it. Uh, what you want to do is uh, open Internet Explorer and uh, at the top uh, below the search bar you will see all the toolbars available. As you can see I have no toolbars and the uh, settings the options here you can go to uh, manage add-ons and uh, toolbars and extensions and all the uh, toolbars available for your browser will be displayed here and create a lot of uh, add-ons and you can have a lot of different ones and all of add-ons and you'll have them toolbars so let's download the uh, Google toolbar and see how it goes Right, so what you want to do is go to Google and type in toolbar and click the first Google toolbar, uh, toolbar available here. And the uh, Google toolbar website will load up. Right, the website's loaded up. As you can see, you have to have the uh, Internet Explorer 6 or above, Windows XP Service Pack 3. Vista of 7 and then obviously Windows 8 is compatible as well and what this uh, toolbar will do is add this function to your uh, to your uh, browser and the uh, Google Chrome is not supported with this toolbar as uh, Google Chrome browser already has this toolbar built in so let's download it and see how it goes Right, so after you click the download, the all the setup will start and you need to wait a couple of minutes for the installation process to finish. And then after the installation process will be finished, your toolbar should be available. Right, so what you want to do is, if any security warnings pop up on your uh, screen, just uh, accept them, run run as administrator and lead, uh, let the installation finish and then the toolbar should be available to uh, to install on your browser and then after this another uh, installation process will pop up and uh, it will download Google toolbar now and uh, it should say about how many minutes is remaining to download this uh, add-on to your browser so just be patient, let it download, and then we'll show you what happens next. Right, the downloading process of the toolbar is now finished. It's now installing. And uh, of course, with all the toolbars available there on the internet, uh, this process will be very similar where the uh, toolbar add-on has to download and then install. And then in your setting options, the toolbar will be available to the user. And if you install any kind of antivirus or firewall uh, software, then uh, automatically you get the uh, toolbars add-on with them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the following program suggested as a new difficult, so yes, change to Google. Or if you want to keep using your uh, usual search engine, then just keep the second one. And then obviously the uh, toolbar is now installing you must restart your browser before using toolbar so I'll restart them now so guys as you can see we have restarted the browser and the uh, toolbar is now available to the user so uh, you get a tutorial that comes with this uh, toolbar and obviously no, thank you and all you the toolbar is very helpful as you Google search something and then you don't have to uh, type it into a search box and you can have two search engines available at once and then you can get more stuff and then on the option tab here you can customize your uh, toolbar with all the settings uh, most of the settings are uh, uh, toolbar language you can set it to whatever language is your uh, main language and then Google site you can keep using your wherever you're from 
Google Sites so the uh, toolbar can be installed anywhere in the world and then lots of different uh, lots of different options in the toolbar menu you can also use Google Mail for mail so when you click the mail uh, icon you will automatically be redirected to your mail website and then privacy options you, pri you can enable some privacy so if you don't want anyone to peek on your uh, whatever you search in or whoever you click plus one button it will not show up custom buttons you can add the buttons to your uh, toolbar at the top like I've added share and search and you can add different more to uh, as you can see you can even add YouTube pick a web album to uh, show uh, to uh, search website quicker and lots of different tools so you can have different tools on your toolbar as well auto fill settings so if you double click on uh, on anything that's got address name or anything it will automatically fill in with your uh, details and then share options so wherever you want to share what you search and uh, currently it's on Google Plus but you can search uh, you can enable share settings on Blogger, Facebook, Google Mail Google Plus, Hotmail, Mail, MySpace, Twitter and Yahoo Mail and of course about toolbar uh, copyright things and finally if something goes wrong you can restart the difficult and difficult to restart save to keep changes and then you just click save and the original toolbar gets back there and you can keep using it. If you don't like the toolbar you can simply close it by clicking the X and then hide Google toolbar temporarily or disable Google toolbar permanently I will hide it for now and the toolbar is totally gone so if it's annoying you you can just hide it for now or you can uh, you can hide it forever and uh, never use it again uh, of course, as mentioned before, uh, lots of different antivirus and firewalls come with toolbars, so uh, they will automatically be installed in your browser. Uh, if you don't like to use them in the Internet Explorer, click the setting button and then on the challenge. Very similar in Google Chrome. And then all of your disabled and enabled toolbars will be here. If you don't like any of them, just disable all of them. Disable all. And everything will be disabled. Thank you for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, stay tuned for more tutorials, see you guys next time.